Okay, family, I'm on my way um, out here to the gym, but I wanted to interject on this right quick. I had a little bit of something extra to put in it, you know, about this topic here because this this really needs to be discussed, and it really needs to be discussed amongst us as women and not really putting our men in it. I mean, we can ask them a couple of questions, but, you know, um, we need to start internalizing and working on our own, working on us. And, um, you know, but it's funny when we look at our men, you know, they go to different races and stuff like that, and they do all that kind of shit. But at the end of the day, they still want they still want to lay with a black woman. You know what I'm saying? They still want to feel the cushion and 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 and, and all that shit that the black woman uh, brings. You know, because a lot of nationalities. I mean, let's face it though, now though, ladies, because there are a lot of different races now want to get our asses now. So. You know, and they find a way that they can pay for that shit and, you know, get a little cushion, but it ain't the same. It's not the same, you know, and <clears throat> and our men still likes a woman with a little meat on her bones. And our men still like, you know, the spark and, and the challenge of a woman, just not so much of what all, you know, they ain't, a lot of bros ain't trying to hear our mouth. You know what I mean? And I and I stand with that too because you know my mouth is rather foul, you know. And and some men, you know, be like, damn, she fine as fuck, but her mouth is raggedy than the motherfucker. You know what I mean? So some men probably, I'm sure that there is quite a bit of men, you know, see me that way, and it's like, damn, you know. But again, damn, can she tone that down just a little bit, you know? But then like uh, raw dog niggas, you know, niggas like, uh, damn, you need to take that motherfucker to pet boy. Something wrong with your goddamn car. But, you know, some, 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 some dudes, you know, and I think it also has a lot to do with economical background on a lot of, on a lot of this stuff, you know, just like, you know, all that I'm saying about what I'm trying to do for Tina, you know, um, and then, you know, women would be like, well, I, I, I hear you, but all them laser treatments and all that shit costs money and, you know, and I shit, I got four kids, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the system. I can't afford to do all that. I understand all of that, ladies. I understand that. I truly understand that. I get that, you know. And then, but I, I feel like we need to take small steps on things. There's certain things that we can't afford to do. You know, stop cooking with all that goddamn vegetable oil and shortening and Rex lard and all that kind of motherfucking shit. And cook with canola oil. You know what I mean? Let's start with some small things. You know what I mean? I mean, and I, I know you probably say I'm going to talk because I cook rich and fattening in the motherfucker. I like good food. But I also believe in portion control. You can still cook some shit that's some, some good hearty shit, but goddamn, make that your heaviest meal of the day. You know what I mean? Something. But, you know, it's like, damn, but to not do nothing and to just, you know, fall back and just be like, well, you know, a motherfucker gonna accept me for who I am. If he can't accept me for who I am, then, you know, fuck it. And like one of my girls said, well, you gotta die from something. See, I would have never said that, mama. You know, I love you, girl. You know, I love you, Virgo. But I would have never said that because... You know, still, I want to live my best life. And, uh, you know, that should, that should be a standard for all of us. You know, that should be a staple in our lives to live the, our best life. You know, at least be cognitive that there's different things going on in this world. And there's things out there that we can buy and do and all those type of things. But, you know, I feel like anything is possible with planning. You know, motherfuckers want to take a cruise trip. Take your cruise trip. Say, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to pay this motherfucker like a bill. I'm going to put down my little down payment when I get my taxes. And I'm going to pay it for a whole year, month to month, until my shit is paid. And then I'm going to take me a cruise trip. Whatever. You know what I mean? But to just live day by day by day, you know, as status quo well, with shit. My mama, she ain't never had nothing. So, shit, I ain't going to never have nothing. My mama, you know, raised me on the welfare system. So, shit, that's all I know is the welfare system. Well, you know, shit, I could braid hair and I could dance. That ain't what the bomb is. It's not. You know, because we could gyrate our hips and roll our asses around. Shit, as big as I am, shit, I could drop it like it's motherfucking hot, too. But, nigga, that ain't really hot. Nigga, that's just loop motherfucking warm. You know, that's, I mean, that ain't what the shit is. Because all that do is, it make our black men want to fuck us. That's it. They want to fuck us. They want they want our pussy, though. But they want to, you know, walk around with somebody else on their arm. And that's not what the shit is. That's not, that's not, that's not hot. You know, it's not hot. And then we try to figure out, well, why is it that our men are treating us this way? And why are they doing this to us? They're doing this to us because we're allowing it. I 
I raised my hand too. I've accepted things that I never should have accepted. I accepted things that, you know, you know, I look back in hindsight, it's like, bitch, what was you doing? You know, what was you doing? You know, that type of thing. But, you know, at this point in time, I can't do nothing but push forward. I got a text message coming in. I can't do nothing but push forward, you know, and I can't dwell on what I didn't do or what I did accept and all that kind of stuff. I got to learn from my mistakes and I got to push forward. That's it and that's all. So, anyway, family, let me let me handle this right here. Um, I'm certain that we're going to be discussing this for some time now. I really believe that. And I welcome it um, because we really need to... Um, we really need to discuss this. Truly, we do. We need to discuss this. And we need to open up this forum because it truly needs to be talked about. Because right now, we are doing some real way out ass shit right now. We really are. You know, and we can't blame nobody but ourselves. But yet, you know, we want to we wanna get mad at the next one because, hell, she's able to do some things that we can't. So that makes this bitch right here, I don't even like her. Well, why, you know, I don't even know why. I just don't like the bitch. I mean, really? <laughs> really you know instead we need to you know uh grab each other by by the, by, by the bootstraps and, and and strap up and, and and get back on this bull and keep riding you know and taking other sisters with us you know and uh we need to work together we really really do because we you know the only i i, I know that our generation now is you know you know, our shit is pretty much said and done. You know, we don't change our stripes. We just change where the fuck we feed. You know what I mean? And when you get a certain age, motherfuckers ain't out to change nothing. It's like, shit, this is just what it is. If motherfuckers don't like me, but what it is that I got to bring to the table, then fuck them. I don't need them and all that kind of shit. Well, you know what? <laughs> that that don't always, that ain't always what the bomb is, ladies. It's not. It ain't, that ain't always the lick. I'm telling you, it's not. I understand though, but that ain't always where it's at. It's not. So anyway, um, let me show you guys. I am at the gym. I'm pulling up at my gym right now. So let me go. All right, family. Zumba, 8:30. Love you.